Oh, maybe this is good. Yeah, you're in the, you're in the way. Hey guys. So, damn, my voice is mad raspy. Drink some water cuz I can't have a raspy voice. y'all so here i am on my youtube video well it's not my first youtube video but it is my first youtube video in a while if that makes sense so if you are like really close to me you know that i had a youtube before back in 2018 but i just got rid of all my content because i felt like i wasn't getting no views no comments no nothing but i'm back and i'm better and i plan on staying here for a while so stay tuned and if you haven't already you need to subscribe like share comment whatever you gotta do just do it all right i'm just trying to get my facts straight before i give you all this tea or whatever so basically as you guys well if you don't know i went to tennessee like late june beginning of july and i stayed with a friend and it was like a complete disaster don't recommend it at all I'm sorry if y'all hear the kids outside. They are just so my friend. Let's call her P. Patricia, some shit. It's called Patricia. Patricia hits me up on Instagram and she's like, Oh, you and Bay should come down to my house, whatever. I'm like, okay, I'll book my flight right now. Like, what is the vibes? What are the vibes? So Patricia, I'm like, well, let's go to ATL too, because I've never been and I've always wanted to go to ATL. She's like, okay, cool. So I'm like bad, like I'm hyped. I'm like, I'm going to ATL, I'm going to be lit, I'm going to be outside. Mm -hmm. I was outside already. Outside her damn house with no fucking place to go. Nah, but wait, hold on. That right there, y'all not going to believe that. But okay, so I booked my flight, whatever, and now we all excited. I'm packing. Like the minute I get home, I'm packed. Packed, y'all. I am packed. So now it's like June 18th. Yeah, I'm looking at the calendar. June 18th she went to miami for the weekend her and a few of her girlfriends went i'm like oh okay like you know be safe so this like around this time that's when they started announcing that the cases in the south were rising or whatever so i was like you know just be careful or whatever but every time i saw her on snapchat she did not have on a mask and i was just like baby girl where is your mask especially if you in a state where the cases are rising and they need to put on a mask but whatever she was like, no, I'm good. Don't worry. A lot of restaurants aren't allowing us in there without our mask on. So I'm like, okay. So now it's June 25th. She comes back that Monday. I don't know what date that now was. Now it's okay. June 25th and me and Terrell are on our way out there. She introduced us to her boyfriend named Charles. Charles is his name. Charles. So me, Charles, Terrell, and Patricia went out for brunch. You know, it's cool, whatever. And then later on that night, she's like touring us around the Tennessee, touring us around Nashville, kind of. And I'm just like, okay, cool. Like, this is cool, but this is not really where I want to be. I want to be in ATL. Like, honestly speaking, would you book a flight to Tennessee? I don't think so. But I'm like, you know, this is cute or whatever, but this is not really what I want to do. So can we like speed up a little bit? <clears throat> so then she tells me that her sister's graduation party is that saturday so basically we cannot go to atl on that friday because her sister's graduation party is saturday so i'm like okay cool like we can just go monday we plan on going on monday okay cool so now it's friday the next day and she has us around her other friends her other two friends so let's say carrie and lola me terrell lola carrie i think i said carrie right carrie and patricia go out for brunch cute little brunch whatever and then patricia she suggests that we go to this trap art museum party slash fashion show slash art show and we're visiting me and her are visiting so we're not gonna be like we don't want to go there no we're gonna be like okay let's go let's see what that's about whatever so we get to the freaking party or whatever it was it was just so like not me i'm gonna insert the clip in here but it was just not giving like 
Ayana vibes at all. Nobody in there had on a mask. Everybody was on top of each other like this, I swear. And then we get there and she's like everywhere, but where she, I don't know, like everywhere that we was at, she wasn't there. That means this. So you ever have that friend at a party who's like not around y'all? She's like in everybody else's face. That's Patricia. So I'm like, okay, cool. Like, you know, these are her friends. So let me just hold it down, whatever. But then I started getting mad because people were bumping me. People were like pushing me out the way. People are drunk. And I'm just like, daddy um i want to come home this girl has me around all these people and i don't feel safe i don't feel comfortable at that and he's like you know Ayana, you're kind of just being dramatic just you know cool down and see how you feel in the morning i'm like you're right i'm gonna call you later daddy love you daddy hang up this bitch says she's ready to leave it hasn't even been 15 minutes yet and she says she's ready to leave. I'm upset because you're saying after 15 minutes you're ready to leave when me and Terrell wasted our money to come here. We spent $50 to get into this freaking party, museum, fashion show, whatever it was. We spent $50 and basically we wasted our money because you're ready to leave. How you know we're ready to go? I mean, I was ready to go, but how did you know? Like, you didn't even act like we were ready to go. Just, oh, I'm ready to go. Let's go. Like, I'm a damn dog or something. Anywho. So Saturday comes, I wake up and I'm like, you know what, Terrell, let's go somewhere by ourselves and just have a good time because I feel like yesterday was a little bit too much. We get me. there, we go to this restaurant, Mayonnaise. It had like an aquarium in it. So it was eating like around all these fish. It was so cute. We went to the wax museum, we went shopping. We come back, we're in a good mood. This girl tells me that me and Terrell have to get a hotel room because her little boo. 6'6", six, six, that's what she called him. 6'6", six, six was coming over because she was getting some mm, tonight. I was looking at her like, excuse me? You what? With who? Because baby girl, that is not your boyfriend. I thought Charles was your boyfriend. Who was 6'6"? Six, six? I'm like, oh no. So I'm mad, like I'm heated. And I'm like, you know what? Let me go to a hotel so I don't fuck this bitch up. Go to the hotel the next morning. It's like 7 o'clock in the morning. She texts me. She's like, oh, somebody broke into my car and they stole my cards and my money and my clothes. And I can't go to ATL tomorrow and I can't do anything else for the rest of the week. So I'm thinking, what? How did that happen? Like, you don't lock your door? You just get out your car and go in your house? That's what you do? Are you kidding me? So I guess she was at work. Well, she was at work and she was texting me and she's like, oh, I'm gonna come home early because I wanna go get myself situated. But it was a Sunday, so you really can't do too much on a Sunday because things are like closed or they close early, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm thinking she's gonna come home to handle her business. Nope, she comes home to freaking go out to eat she invited me and Terrell out to eat i'm like huh does she didn't have no money so i'm like you know what i just be a nice person and hold her down like you know she's letting you stay with her in her house i'm like okay cool like we'll go out to eat. i'll just pay for you don't worry about it so i felt like you know if you just got robbed and you're not in a good mood like a shot or two is gonna cheer you up a little bit you know i mean that's just me i don't mean to sound like an alcoholic but i feel like sometimes shots is the answer to things pay for the whole bill and i'm asking her i'm like did you check behind your phone because usually she leaves her like her credit cards her debit card her money behind her phone and her id she says she looks through her case and she's like oh my god everything is here i'm like bitch you knew that shit was there so that was like strike two or three that was like strike three right there so i was like you know what this this girl is just too much for me to her house i don't think i said this but like it wasn't her own house she shared a house with somebody like you had me in somebody else's house in somebody else's space privacy like how did you know that, that boy wanted us to even come over you know what i mean but whatever so now we get back to her house 
well, their house. We get back to their house. And this girl says, oh, Troy is on his way over. Who's Troy? So you're Charles, now you're mm -mm, six six, and now you're mm -mm, Troy? Girl, that is three different people in three different days. You are wise in her room with the boy. And me and Tara just out in the living room with a couch. And they're like, this is really crazy to me. Because for all of this, I could have just stayed in New York. Or I could have went to ATL alone with Terrell and planned my own trip. The next morning, which is Monday morning. And I'm like, I want to go to the pool. So the pool was like downstairs, but in the backyard. Like, not in the backyard. It wasn't even a house. It was like little apartments. So they all like had a pool area or whatever. So I was like, I'm going to the pool because I want to go to the pool. So I'm like, well, let's go. So then Patricia tagged along. She's like, I want to come to the pool. So I'm like, okay, girl, like, let's go to the pool. And then she's venting to me and stuff. She's like, you know, I'm going to stop talking to all these boys at once. Like, it's going to be a little bit overwhelming and stuff. I'm just like, yeah. She says, oh, I have a little egg. I want to go to the supermarket so I can get some soup and some tea. So I'm like, okay, cool. We go to the supermarket, whatever. She gets that. We go back to her house, we're watching a movie, she's eating her soup, whatever. And 30 minutes into the movie, she's getting up, and she's getting dressed, and then she's leaving the house. Like, like getting up and leaving the house. And me and Terrell are in her house. So I'm like, where are you going? Like, where are you really going? She goes, oh, I'm gonna go to Lola's house. I'll be back within like an hour. I'm like, okay see you in an hour or whatever like you could have said something bitch if you wanted to go hang out with her nobody want to be stuck in y'all house because it's not your house it's y'all house i give her that right she leaves at four o'clock now it's almost nine o'clock so five hours later she never came back never came back y'all so i texted her i'm like you plan on coming back because me and Troy are just here in your house and you know we could have been out doing something but my whole thing was she just seemed like she didn't really want to hang out with us you know what I mean so she responds and she's like oh I'm sorry I didn't think it was gonna take this long or whatever and I'm like it's okay me and Troy just got a hotel we're gonna stay there for the rest of the week and don't even stress a girl I said but your door is wide open I kind of did that to be spiteful because she was violating me so I was like you know what I got her so she goes, oh, I don't, know, I don't feel well, like, at all. I'm like, you don't feel well. What you mean you don't feel well? Because you was just in Miami. So, I'm thinking coronavirus off the back. Y'all. Y'all. This girl told me she don't feel well, and then I was calling her phone. I'm texting her, and she's not answering her. Like, I'm like, you know, any update, like, what's going on or whatever? no answer this girl just stops responding to me tuesday comes i'm waking up in the morning and i text her <laughs> no answer i'm calling her from terrell's phone no answer so i'm like okay now it's maybe like it's wednesday no it's still tuesday you know what i'm going home fuck this i'm going home so i spent an extra 200 dollars to go home on july 2nd i was supposed to leave the 5th so i paid extra 200 to go home for me and Terrell. and i was like yeah no i'm out of this bitch i don't know what the fuck this girl got but i gotta go so basically wednesday comes around i believe it was wednesday she texted me she's like i tested positive my heart rate went from like moderate to like tachycardia so if you don't know tachycardia is like my heart rate is up there. I'm like, you have what? You tested positive for what? This girl just told me she tested positive. Now, it was my last day there, so I was like, Terrell, let's just go to a dinner and try to keep our, you know, mind off of certain things, whatever. But it was like nothing was able to fix my mood. So I go to Hibachi, whatever, and... I go to her Instagram, I'm like, she didn't post all day, and she's ignoring me, like, she's not answering my calls, my messages, like, is she okay? And I go on Instagram, so from my page, it seems like, it seemed like she didn't have a story up. I'm like, oh, okay, like, maybe she's, like, really sick. 
and I go on Terrell's page, and I go to her page. This bitch had a story, y'all. She had a story up. A story. Like a whole purple circle, whatever color it is, it was there. It was there on Terrell's page. So I'm like, she blocked me from seeing her shit. I'm like, why do you have me blocked on Instagram? Like, what did I do to you? I'm not getting a response, y'all. Like, I'm still not receiving a response. So I'm like, okay. So then I hit up her best friend. I forgot what I called him. Whatever. I hit up her best friend. And he was like, she's sick. Patricia's sick. Huh? She didn't tell me that. I was like, she didn't tell you that? I answer. I'm not about to sit here and get ignored all day. I don't have time for it. And I know where you live. So I just came to the conclusion that I was going to do a pop-up at her house. The only reason why I didn't, the only reason why I didn't do the pop-up was because Terrell told me not to do it. So how would you invite me to your house in Tennessee to put me out for like, you know, your penis appointments or whatever the case may be? Like, that's just so rude. I would never, ever do that to anybody in my life. If you're my friend, you come over and Terrell wants to come over. Terrell can wait. Terrell gotta wait because you're in my house. I feel like that's just, that's rude. You don't do that. And the amount of money that me and Terrell spent on that trip, you wouldn't believe it. Like, aside from us shopping that day, Ubers, the hotels, the flight to come back was $200 more. I'm going to say we spent about $1,000 in four It's days. not really a clear ending to the story because I'm like, I really never received the answer. I haven't received a text back or a phone call. This is a lesson learned. You just really can't befriend everybody because I befriended her on Instagram and just really can't do that. Can't. Because stuff like this yeah. happened. landed that Thursday the 2nd, we had to go straight to urgent care and get tested. And I feel like it was just such a horrible experience for me because if it was up to me, I would have never gotten tested for that. If I don't, if I feel okay and I feel like I have no symptoms, I'm not going to get tested for that. I still, to this day, never had a laugh off because like I'm good. My test came back negative. I'm good. Everybody in my house is good. Terrell's good. Everybody in his house is good. But like now I can laugh it off because I don't know what. Like, who sent you to Tennessee? Like who sent you guys finally got the inside scoop about it? But yeah, guys, seriously, like stop making friends on the internet. It's not it. It's not it at all. Mm -mm. You know what's crazy? I don't even think that her boyfriend, Charles, knew about this. Like by the end of this video i appreciate you guys for subscribing for sharing me even though i didn't ask for it but i really appreciate it and yeah i really have a lot of stuff coming for you guys so just literally stay tuned and i guess how do you do it like turn on the, the bell i guess i don't know <laughs> i don't know turn the bell on or whatever because i'm gonna be posting y'all and definitely my dad will be in some of my videos so stay tuned later